these are fossil bones of a uh, fossil reptile called a plesiosaur. Um, this is um, one which we, we acquired a few years ago. It was found in, two, in the year 2000. Um, and it actually came from Gloucestershire. So this was found in a quarry in Gloucestershire um, where they dug out clay to make bricks with. with and uh, it was found by um, a chap called Peter Blake. And uh, he was leading a, a field trip down this, this quarry. And he suddenly realised that he was surrounded by bits of uh, fossil bone. So his field trip suddenly became a uh, fossil plesiosaur collecting trip. And uh, they collected all the bits that they could. And uh, then he gave us a call. Not long after he'd found it, we went off to his, uh, his house. He used to live in Rugby. And uh, he had all these bits laid out on his patio. Um, so that's the first time I saw this specimen. And uh, I must admit that when he first rang, we thought, oh, it's just going to be one that we, we know of. It's going to be one that's already been found. Uh, but when we saw these bones, we realised that actually this was a completely new kind of plesiosaur, one that hasn't been described. It's not, um, it hasn't got a, a proper name, if you like. It hasn't been properly um, described by scientists. So we knew this was an important plesiosaur fossil. And uh, as uh, the museum has uh, a very good plesiosaur collection, we have um, several good examples in the collection, but as this is a new one and it was from the Midlands, um, it was something that we could collect. It's within our collecting policy. And so we thought, well, this is something that we would like to have for the museum, but we were mindful that um, there might be another museum that might want it. Uh, and eventually it turned out that uh, no other museum that was sort of closer to Gloucestershire was in a position to be able to acquire it. So we thought, well, if we don't, then it might end up um, perhaps even leaving the country. We don't want that to happen. So uh, we applied to the City of Leicester Museum Trust and uh, they very kindly support our application. And here we are. It, uh, it's arrived in the museum uh, about the year 2000 and uh, we've been working on it on and off ever since. Well, I'm, I'm down here in the museum's lab um, with Phil Hackett, who's chairman of the, of the City of Leicester Museum Trust. Um, and I just want to update him on what we're doing with this new plesiosaur skeleton. Because um, this is going out into the new gallery. Um, so here we are, we're just piecing it together, trying to remind, remind ourselves which bit goes where. So some of it here is still encased in rock. Um, some of it I think we'll leave there because there's some important information. Um, some of this material down here is probably gut contents. Oh, OK. So uh, we can have an idea about what the plesiosaur last ate. Uh, and there's some little pebbles here, which are probably um, sort of gizzard stones that they swallowed to help mash up the food. How old is it, Mark? Oh, it's about 190 million years old. It comes from the, the early part of the Jurassic period. Um, so it's one of, the, one of the earlier plesiosaurs. So would this be classed as a dinosaur? No, uh, plesiosaurs and dinosaurs uh, are separate kinds of prehistoric reptile. Um, plesiosaurs, we think, are probably more closely related to things like turtles and uh, lizards uh, and dinosaurs are more closely related to things like crocodiles but also birds. Oh, thank you very much, Mark. That's, I, I mean, it's been always fascinating and it's fantastic to see the object as well. The City of Leicester Museum's Trust is actually set up uh, for the benefit of the people of Leicester and it uses money that's donated by the public in the donation boxes in the museums in Leicester City and then uses that money to buy objects or artefacts for the museum for the collections and um, the criteria is kind of both broad but also very specific so it's broad as in that we can buy almost anything as long as it benefits the people of Leicester and benefits the City of Leicester museums. The museum's policy is public and that is something that uh, the museums share so they can see what it is that the museum service is trying to collect and of course the museum service is part of Leicester City Council so they have a, a remit to reflect and uh, respond to the public's wishes and the museum's trust although we are um, a select few of people that sit on the board anybody can be a trustee and we encourage people to apply to be trustees and the donations for the public are incredibly generous and they raise you know 20 30 thousand pounds a year that we are able to spend but believe it or not the amount of donations is still only between four and eight pence per person that visits the museum. So, you know, if anybody came, if they could put 20 pence in or 50 pence in, that would really help. And all that money goes towards buying objects for the museum's collections that are the very reason that they've come to visit the museum in the first place. 
The new Plesiosaur saw will be going on display in the new dinosaur gallery and it'll be great to actually get it out there seeing as it was purchased with the uh, City of Leicester Museum Trust funds. Thank you.